All right. Akai did keep their promise. They did keep their promise. They did release the beta version of the MPC 3.5 desktop software. And uh, yeah, it is now available. And I will say this. It is definitely a beta version. Bolo! So yeah, Akai did keep their promise and now we do have the 3.5 desktop software available for all of you MPC users who've been waiting on this. And I'm gonna say this right now. It is very, very, very much a beta, okay? There's a lot of things that um, are not in here that I know some of you guys have been expecting, but we have to give Akai a little bit of time because they are working on this. Now, I know one thing that I was looking forward to was the Arranger in this, and I was looking for a full program overhaul, which as of right now, I don't see that right now, but of course, we have some time, and this is just a beta version. So Akai says they are committed to making this thing better and better as time goes on. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and open up the new 3.5 desktop version so you guys can see what has been done. And at the end of the video, I want you guys to tell me what you guys actually think about it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up right now. Let me show you guys the new MPC 3.5 desktop beta. All right, so here it is, the new MPC 3.5 beta desktop version. And it looks just like the older version. So yes, not much has changed. That's why I said that this is very much a beta version, okay? There will be updates to this, but for right now, Akai wanted to keep their promise and they wanted to bring this out before the end of May and they did it and this is what we have. Now, there's two key things about this. Uh, well, actually three, there's three. Now, the three key things is this. Number one, when you open this up in controller mode in conjunction with your actual hardware unit, which I have my MPC key 37 right here, as you guys notice, this does not put the MPC key 37 back into the 2.15.1 mode. It looks like MPC3 on here, okay? So it has the same UI as the MPC3 point, whatever you're using. So that shows up here. All the menus and everything work. So everything works in conjunction with the software now. The number two thing is a lot of you guys were asking about VST3 support, and I'm gonna go right here to my inserts, and we're gonna go right here to VST3, and there it is. We have VST3 stuff in here. And yes, we do have it and it works. So like, if, say for instance, I'm gonna go to Arteria stuff. Boom, they have all of that right now. Now, the thing about it is, uh, does everything work in VST3 support? And that is no, but most of the stuff works. So like, say for instance, if we go to like a plug-in track and we wanna go to like some VST3 stuff, we can go right here and then boom, we have most of my stuff in here. It's not everything, but of course, if you go like into the audio unit stuff, it has a few extra things in here, but most of the VST3 stuff actually works in here. So that's a good thing. So now let's go right back here into our drum uh, track right here. And say for instance, if I wanted to add like some claps or something like that for my newest drum kit that's coming out soon, I can actually take a clap in here and I could actually uh, put this clap right here and then I could use it and it works, okay? So it works the same way. You can just drag and drop your stuff in here and do everything the exact same way you have been using it inside of your old actual uh, MPC des uh, desktop. So nothing's changed with that. Everything works the same. It's just the UI looks a little different, okay? The mixer stuff pretty much is all the same, just darker mode right here. And then, of course, you have you know, all your sub mixes, returns, and your outputs, everything is pretty much the same. All your little quick functions and everything, pretty much everything is all the same. Nothing too much has changed at all. You know, that's why I say that this is very much a beta, and Akai said that they're going to actually add a lot more stuff in here as time goes on. So, you know, I'm not a coding person. I don't know how to code or nothing like that, and I know they have people working on it, so it's just taking a little bit more time to kind of get it to where they need to get it. Now, this is the big thing. A lot of you guys were 
very excited about the software and about the arranger. Well, the arranger in the software is not completely done as of today. They will be releasing more updates for the arranger in the software because if we click on this, it doesn't really do anything. But on the actual hardware unit, it actually did something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up an actual beat that I made. It's a very simple beat that I made. And I'm gonna show you guys what is going on on the actual hardware unit and what is going on the software unit. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Before we get started, if you guys need any equipment for your studio, make sure you guys go ahead and click my link in the description and head over to zounds.com. Zounds has a whole bunch of stuff on the site and they have a whole bunch of stuff on the site that requires no credit or background check. Meaning all you have to do is order it, they'll ship it to you and you can make monthly payments. All you have to do is add a credit or debit card up to the account and you can go ahead and get your stuff just like that. So if you guys need some equipment, make sure you guys go ahead ahead and click my link in the description and head over to zounds.com and get you some equipment today. Oh man, my guys over at Analog Cases just released the new travel case for the MPC Key 37. Man, this thing fits the MPC 37 like a glove. And this thing comes heavily padded to make sure that your MPC Key 37 stays safe at all times. It also comes with some extra compartments to store your cables and everything else. And while you're traveling, you can either carry it like a briefcase, or if you really want to get jiggy with it, this thing turns into a backpack as well. So if you guys want to go ahead and pick up this bag, make sure you guys go ahead and click my link in the description and head over to Analog Cases and search for the MPC Key 37 case and you guys can save 10% on it today. So go ahead and click that link right now. Okay, so I got a beat pulled up right now. It's a pretty cool beat, nothing too much, but I'm gonna play it for you right now. And uh, as you guys can see, I'm in the arranger view, but we don't really see the whole arrangement of the beat because it's not there yet in the software. Because in the hardware, you can see the arrangement in the software on whatever particular track you're on, you're gonna see an edit view. But let me play the beat and we'll talk about that. So let's, let's listen to the beat real quick. Like I said before, it's a very simple beat, went well, nothing too much, but as you guys can see, we don't have an arrangement view. And right now, the track that I'm currently selected is a hi-hat track. Now, me thinking positively about this, it's actually kind of cool, okay? Because I try to find the positives in anything, to tell you the truth. So right now, we're on the hi-hat track, and let's just say, for instance, we wanted to edit some of these hi-hats. Now, in the MPC standalone, we have to go, we have to put a loop point around it, then go through and actually erase it. But in here, what we can do is, now that we're selecting this hi-hat track, we can actually just go right in here and we can just select a certain point of, of these hi-hats and we can just press delete. And then if we look on our actual hardware unit, it is gone. We don't have to do all the extra stuff like how we did in standalone mode. So it's kind of cool. So Let's go ahead and put those back. And let's just say, for instance, I want to go back to track number one right here. So in track number one, say, for instance, I didn't want any of this in here and I want to take this out. So I can just take those and just delete that. And then as you guys can see on the actual hardware unit, it takes it out and then we don't have to do anything else. We can actually edit very fast in here. And we can do this for every single track on here and do it for how long. Uh, it is in here. So it has everything in here for the length of the actual beat, but it just shows up as like a real kind of arrangement view on the hardware rather than on the software, which they said that that's coming. Okay. Don't know how long it's coming, but they are going to be doing updates. You know, so this is supposedly supposed to be coming soon. So it's a beta. Okay. It's a beta. That's all I'm going to say. But other than that, Everything else pretty much works the same as how it did before. So for a lot of you people who did not want to see a huge change, here you go. 
not much has changed. Now, for the ones who did want to see a huge change like me, I ain't going to lie, it is a little disappointing, but I want to see what they're going to do in the future because I was expecting like a full overhaul for as long as we waited. But, you know, I'm not a developer. I'm not a programmer. I don't know how to code. So, you know, <laughs> you know, it, it, it it's pretty much is what it is. So, yeah. So there it is. The new MPC 3.5 uh, desktop beta. Not much has changed, but it does work in conjunction with your uh, hardware units to where now it looks like, you know, 3.0 on, you know, 3. Point whatever on your hardware unit. Um, hopefully they'll come with some more updates in the near future. They say they are committed by, you know, adding some more new updates in here. But yeah, I was expecting a little bit more. I ain't gonna lie. I was, but at least they released the beta. At least they did that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.